Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Quietly, Joey Porter Jr. is correcting one of his biggest weaknesses, tackling. Right now, it feels rather hard to find any sort of positives for the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially coming off the four-day stretch at Acrisure Stadium that saw the black and gold make NFL history, becoming the first team over .500 to lose to two teams eight games under .500 in back-to-back -back weeks. There is nothing bleak about the continued development of rookie cornerback Joey Porter Jr. though. While he has had some issues with penalties in recent weeks, getting caught being a bit too grabby, the rookie cornerback has been a lockdown defender for the Steelers. He's allowed just 17 receptions on 40 targets this season for just 253 yards and one touchdown. On those 40 targets, he has one interception and five pass breakups and has one of the league's best completion percentages allowed, 42.5%. And that's not even his most impressive area of development. Coming out of the Week 9 win on Thursday night football over the Tennessee Titans, there were real concerns about Porter's tackling. At that point in the season, Porter had five missed tackles and was sporting a missed tackle rate of 22.7%. That wasn't even the highest missed tackle rate he had on the season. Following the Week 7 win on the road over the Los Angeles Rams, in which he missed two tackles, Porter had a missed tackle rate of 30.7%. In that same span, the rookie cornerback has recorded 20 tackles without a miss. That includes a six-tackle performance against the Cleveland Browns on the road and then back-to-back four-tackle performances against the Arizona Cardinals and Patriots at home. Earlier in the season, Porter was hesitant coming downhill, seemingly unsure of himself as that physical, downhill help defender that he was at Penn State. In college, Porter was willing to stick his face into the fire and make plays as a tackler. That didn't really show up early on in his NFL tenure. But really, all he needed was more reps now, he's getting those reps, and there is a real improvement occurring with the young cornerback. He's much more sure of himself, playing with great confidence in coverage and as a tackler. He's quick to trigger downhill, and he's using great form when he gets there, making sure he's seeing what he's hitting. Playing through the defender, he is wrapping up, much like he does above on his tackle for loss against the Green Bay Packers and rookie receiver Jaden Reed late in the first half of that Week 10 win. Throughout the 2023 season, the secondary has been a mess from a tackling perspective. Of the 113 misses I have charted for the Steelers this season, 54 have come from defensive backs. That's an ugly number. Porter has been part of that, but he's made major improvements and now holds the second lowest missed tackles rate among all defensive backs on the Steelers at just 11.9%, just 0.2% behind safety Trenton Thompson, who has 22 less tackles than Porter. Tackling issues were once a concern for Porter, slash A, but credit to him for improving, and quickly, in that department down the stretch. He's developing into a great defender before our eyes and is seemingly becoming a complete package at the position. That's very encouraging. Film Room, LB Blake Martinez makes his Steelers debut against the Patriots. The Pittsburgh Steelers suffered a hard loss to the hands of the New England Patriots last Thursday night, falling 21-18 at home against their longtime rival. The Patriots game represented the first one that LB Blake Martinez suited up in a Steelers uniform, having signed with the team back on November 21 after Pittsburgh plucked him off the Carolina Panther practice squad to add to its 53-man roster. Martinez saw 21 defensive snaps, 37%, against the Patriots, making four total tackles, two solo, along with missing a tackle. 
he primarily played on early, run-heavy downs in his first run with the black and gold, having some moments where he stood out as well as others where he showed his newness back to football after being briefly retired. Let's take a closer look. When it comes to pass coverage, Martinez looked like he was still knocking the rust off against the Patriots. He didn't see many coverage snaps as he primarily played on early downs, but he got some exposure to passing situations like this rep where QB Bailey Zapp drops back from under center. Martinez is tasked with covering T.E. Farrow Brown, but he keeps his eyes in the backfield too long, picking up on Brown late after he's at the top of his route. Brown runs a deep over route, having a couple steps of separation on Martinez, but Zapp chooses to go with the low percentage throw down the sideline in double coverage, the pass falling incomplete. As a run defender, Martinez flashed what made him a tackling machine in Green Bay as well as with the New York Giants. He comes downhill without any hesitation, working around and through blocks to make the stop. Take a look at this rep and see Martinez work to the edge to keep contain. He then crashes down inside to make the tackle on RB Ezekiel Elliott, having the rest of the defense swarm to the football to hold Elliott to a modest gain on the play. Martinez also plays with great effort in pursuit of the football, playing chase to the ball carrier even when he and hashtag 8217 s not in close proximity to the ball. Watch this rep where New England runs a screen play to Elliott. Martinez starts to work to the opposite side of the field, keeping an eye on T. Hunter Henry, who comes across the formation. Martinez sees the screen to Elliott and then jumps on his horse, working to the opposite side of the field while working around a blocker to get Elliott on the ground. Will Steelers send Mike Tomlin packing if unprecedented streak comes to end? The Steelers have a lot of soul-searching to do after becoming the first team in NFL history to be over .500 and lose back-to-back -back games to teams at least eight games under .500. No one's job should be safe, and that includes head coach Mike Tomlin's. Tomlin is widely respected across the league, but the only thing Pittsburgh seems to be holding on to anymore is his NFL record for the most consecutive non-losing seasons to begin coaching career, 16. However, there is a realistic scenario that his unprecedented streak comes to an end in 2023, which would leave the Steelers, 7-6, out of the playoffs in back-to-back -back years and still without a postseason win since the 2016 season. Pittsburgh's four remaining opponents have a combined record of 30-22, and the team will be without second-year QB Kenny Pickett for at least another game or two. It's safe to say that the last month of the regular season may just be the most important month of Tomlin's coaching career. According to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Ray Fittipaldo, it's 50-50 Tomlin is the Steelers' head coach next year, and how they finish the season could determine his future. If the team were to move on from Tomlin this offseason, it should trade him as several teams would likely be interested. Some in the Pittsburgh media have already been coming up with trade packages. It's certainly not what many pictured after the Steelers' promising preseason run but the Steelers have been one of the NFL's most unwatchable teams. Tomlin, who's led Pittsburgh to two Super Bowl appearances and one Super Bowl win, XLIAI, has earned the right to continue being a head coach in the league, but maybe a change of scenery is what's best for both sides. And you fan, what do you think of the Mike Tomlin situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.